Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to study the power, power and torque in synchronous generator. Under this heading, the book explains the some basic thing which we already studied that the synchronous generator converts mechanical power to three phase electrical power. And the source of this mechanical power is somehow diesel engine, steam turbine and a water turbine or any other similar device. The important thing which I told you in the previous lecture is that its speed is almost constant regardless of the power demand. Speed should be constant. If speed will vary, then the frequency will vary. So if that were not so, then the resulting power system frequency would matter. While studying this, that we apply the mechanical power to the rotor and then rotor rotates and convert this mechanical power into the electrical power so that mechanical power, not all of that mechanical power which is supplied to the rotor is converted into the electrical power. There are some losses occur inside the machine. As we study during the study of the induction motor that some losses occur inside the induction motor. So there are some losses present inside the synchronous generator. Now we are going to study the that losses and that losses can be represented same as power flow diagram. We draw the power flow diagram of uh, induction motor. So the power flow diagram of the synchronous generator looks like this. I am going to draw it here. That here is the P input which is mechanical and then these losses the first loss is the stray loss the second loss is friction and windage loss and then core loss after core loss there are copper losses which is I square R At this point, the power is converted from mechanical to electrical and at then P out at this point is can be given as under root 3 V terminal I L cos of theta. <coughs> so you can see that this power flow diagram is the reversal of the power flow diagram which we study in the induction motor. In the induction motor, P input is electrical and P out is mechanical but in the synchronous generator, P input is mechanical and P out is electrical and these losses occur in a reversal manner in the synchronous generator as they occur in the power flow diagram of the induction, uh, induction motor. <coughs> so the input mechanical power is the short power at the generator and P input is given as is equal to torque applied and omega m while the power converted from mechanical to electrical is given as P converted torque induced omega m and the second formula of this is 3 Ea I A cos of gamma. Gamma is the angle between E A and I A. So this E A as we already study is the internal generated voltage 
इंटरनल जनरेटेड वोल्टेज एंड आई ए इज द इंटरनल जनरेटेड इन यूज करंट फर्दर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द इनपुट पावर टू द जनरेटर एंड द पावर कन्वर्टेड इन द जनरेटर रिप्रेजेंट्स द मैकेनिकल लॉस कोर लॉस एंड स्ट्रे लॉसेज ऑफ द मशीन एज शोन इन द फिगर here is p convert and here is p in and its difference are represented by stray losses friction and windage losses and core losses the real electrical output power of the synchronous generator p out can be given as under root 3 v terminal il cos theta so P out is equal to under root three V terminal I L cos of theta, and in terms of phase quantity, P is equal to three V phase I L cos theta. Similarly, the reactive power output can be express expressed in line quantity as Q out. Under root three V terminal I L sine theta and in phase quantity is three V phase I A sine theta. If the armature resistance or stator winding resistance is ignored, because like this synchronous reactance is much greater than R A, excess is greater greater than R A, then a very useful power equation can be derived. and the phasor diagram in this stage when ra is ignored can be given like that in which we ignore ra and then xs ia meet the point ea from this figure you can see that the vertical segment bc is equal to this ea this is gamma ea sin delta this is delta between ea and v phase ea sin delta so vertical segment bc can be given as ea sin of delta and this is the theta this is making 90 degree this line making 90 degree and according to the theorem this is theta if this is theta so this j x s i a cos theta this vertical segment is x s i a cos theta so b c can be represented as x s i a cos of theta as these both are same so x s i a cos of theta is equal to e a sin of delta And I A cos theta, E A sine delta over x, <coughs> over x s, and as P out, we can know from this that P out is equal to. Three V phase I A cos of theta. This is I A cos of theta. Putting this value here, P out will become three V phase E A sine of delta over X S. So P out can be represented as Three V phase E A sine delta over X. So in this way, P out can also be calculated. Uh, since the resistances are assumed to be zero, so there are no electrical losses in the generator, and this equation is used for both B converted and P out. As here, if I R R is assumed to be zero. then i square or losses assumed to be zero so that equation can also be used for p converted that one
that equation can be used for p converted which is 3 v phase e a sin delta over x s further this equation shows that the power produced by a synchronous generator depends on the angle delta this angle delta between the v phase and e a depends on this angle The, the angle delta is known as the torque angle of the machine. So therefore that delta angle is known as torque angle. Torque angle of the machine. Notice that the maximum power that the generator can supply occurs when delta is equal to when delta is equal to 90 degree and sine of 90 degree will become 1 so maximum power can occur at this point which is 3 v phase e a over x s so a generator cannot deliver more power than this this is the maximum power However, if try to deliver more power than this, then synchronization will drop. And then generator will not be in a synchronous with the magnetic field and synchronization will loss. So this is the maximum power that a generator can deliver. So this maximum power is called the static stability limit of the generator that it is the limit. Static stability limit of the generator. However, Normal generators operates an, at an angle of delta approximately 15 degree to 20 degree and its maximum limit is 90 degree. As in previous, we already studied that the induced torque in the generator can be expressed as torque induced is equal to k into b r cross b s and k into b r cross b net and k b r b net <coughs> sign of delta this is the delta angle between this delta is the angle between b r and b net and previous lecture we already studied that the b r coincides with e a and b net coincides with v phase so b r and e a at the same angle and b net and v phase at the same angle so that delta the angle delta between E A and P phase is the same as the angle delta between the B R and B net. So this is the same torque angle which is used here. So an alternative expression for the induced torque in a synchronous generator can be given as as we know P converted is given as torque induced mega amp and torque induced is P converted over omega m and P converted formula putting here torque induced will become 3 V phase E A sine of delta over omega m excess <coughs> 
so now torque induced equation have two formula one is this and other one is this so the upper one represents give the torque induced in terms of magnetic quantities and this one gives torque induced in terms of electrical quantities so this is how power and torque power and torque occurs in the synchronous generator so now that's ends from this lecture thank you